we were building the first prototypes of our product, I went and interviewed 100 social workers to figure out how they were finding community health resources for their patients. Everything from food pantries to walking programs at the park district to subsidized housing. And when I asked these social workers how they were finding these resources, usually they pointed at a three-ring binder that was sitting on their desk full of paper. And out of all those hundred interviews, one binder stood out as the absolute messiest. It was totally disorganized, it was coffee stained, and that binder was purple. And we looked at that and we thought, this is what we're going to replace. So how do people actually use our product, Purple Binder? Let me give you a couple of examples. So a mom walks into a community health clinic with her infant child. And it turns out that the mom can't afford enough diapers and formula for her baby. So the social worker at the clinic uses Purple Binder to find a church right down the street that's handing out infant supplies in its basement. And that is healthcare. Here's another example. A man comes into a hospital emergency room, and he's in diabetic shock. Do these lights have to work over here? <laughs> <laughs> and he's in diabetic shock. So the hospital has him up on his feet in about 48 hours. But the reason that he went into diabetic shock was that he was laid off from his job a few months back. And it was getting towards the end of his month, at end of the month, his budget was running low. And he couldn't afford the food that he needed to keep his blood sugar under control. So the nurse at that hospital used Purple Binder to find a food pantry that was near his home. Now, these aren't the things that we would traditionally think of as healthcare. But healthcare in the US is undergoing a huge transformation. It used to be that if you were a healthcare provider, you could just write bills to the insurance company for everything that you did. <laughs> X-ray, bill. Test, bill. Doctor's visit, bill. But now, under a new system called value-based care, Healthcare providers can only make money by saving money. They get a lot of a fixed amount of cash every year to, pay, to care for a particular patient. And the way that they make money is by keeping that patient healthy so that they don't require expensive procedures and tests. And that's not an easy thing to do. Because by the year 2020, half of all Americans will have a chronic disease. A quarter of all Americans will have multiple chronic diseases. And the overall economic burden of all that illness will be $3 trillion. And I'll note that that's almost the entirety of our government's federal budget this year. So we are literally going broke as a country because we are so sick. Now, although a lot of that burden is borne by the federal and state governments through the Medicare and Medicaid programs, the roots of that sickness and of health are much more local than that. Sickness and health both start in the communities where we work and where we live and where we play. Health is about what grocery stores there are near you. Do you know how to cook a healthy, nutritious meal in your own home? Is it safe and easy to go out walking in your neighborhood? What stressors do you face in your daily life? Do you exercise every day? Do your friends exercise every day? These are all factors that affect your health. And because of the transition to value-based care, healthcare providers are on the hook for all of those things that can affect someone's health, even when they happen outside of a conventional clinical setting, in someone's community, in a neighborhood. And that's the business case of Purple Binder. Healthcare providers use Purple Binder to match their patients with community services that can address their barriers to health outside of a clinical setting. So, and here's a couple of screenshots. It's used by clinical staff inside a healthcare system, and it can also be provided directly to patients. Now, at this point, you might be asking, does this actually work? Right? It's a cool idea, but like, does this actually make any difference? And the answer is a resounding yes. We just got back our first clinical health outcomes data showing that a team using Purple Binder reduced the cost of care by 60% for a very expensive group of patients that were constant users of a particular hospital ER. And at another health system, we're recovering $2.2 million of staff time that they can then use to provide better care to the patients who need it most. Now, health does not happen in isolation. It's about more than just addressing acute medical needs. Health is about addressing all of the economic and behavioral and social factors that can affect someone's life. It's about connecting hospitals, doctor's offices, families, and community organizations together into a health neighborhood. That's what we do. I'd like to ask everybody in this audience to think about a community that you're a part of. It could be your family. It could be your workplace. It could be your place of worship. It could be the friends that you hang out with. And I want you to think about what that community does to help keep you healthy.
Because the way that we feel, the way that we feel, the habits that we have, the people that we hang out with, and the lab results that we get back from a doctor's office are all connected. Thanks. I'm Joseph Fletch from Purple Binder, and we put community and health on the same page.